guys, this is Brian back with the Hedera Hashgraph HBAR token update. And we have finally nicked that price up here that, uh, that we put there a while ago. That is actually lines up, let's see here, with the 618 Fibonacci level, I believe. Let's put it on here. Yeah, actually it hit the 702. Came right up to the 702 there. That uh, That is going to be a zone we are going to keep an eye on. We need to get up through this area, okay? So we have we have hit that 702. We hit the price we were talking about, you know. We, I wasn't uh, not a fortune teller or whatever, however you want to say it. I just uh, used a Fibonacci retracement, and coins usually retrace to a certain point. And we hit that point. Now we're going to have to see what happens here as far as that goes, okay? Now... I am going to get in this chart here in a second and show you the RSIs and what I expect next. Right now, we're up 2.83% for the day. At one point, we were up, uh, let's see here, let's measure this out, 10%. We were up 10%, so we're having a little bit of a pullback. Looks like Bitcoin is doing an ABC correction. I just did that in a Bitcoin video I did a little bit ago. Uh, what if you bit bought, what if you bought a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin in 2010 how many Bitcoin would that have bought you and what it would be worth today it's a pretty cool video I don't know um, I thought it was neat to go through it it, it gets you excited about crypto and the possibilities um, it's it was pretty awesome so if you get a chance check it out and if you would please hit that subscribe button you know I would uh, love to have you here every day guys I enjoy doing these videos for you guys and uh, it's a lot of fun for me. So, and we got a great group of people. You know, you guys give me a lot of motivation. And we did our first giveaway the other day of 100 ADA on uh, Friday. So, all, all you have to do to be entered in our contest is be a subscriber. We're going to do another giveaway at the end of the month. So, all right, enough of that. Analyst identifies H bar, ADA, and chain link for immediate price rally. Okay, it says here, Crypto Busy, which uh, them guys are awesome. Crypto Busy host has identified three altcoins with unprecedented buy potential. According to Josh, HBAR, ADA, and LINK constitute the hottest coins in the crypto market. The crypto market has gained about 0.2% overall as of analyst time. A channel host on Crypto Busy, Josh, Josh has identified three altcoins with unprecedented buy potential, uh, the blah, 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 the hottest coins, they're screaming buys right now, <laughs> that boy, that's a pretty blunt way to put it, he's like, the, you know, these things are just dying to be bought, in a recent YouTube video, Josh noted that the three coins are the major gainers in the crypto market, and have gained about 0.2% overall, the first pick by Josh is HBAR, the native coin for Hedera blockchain. According to its developers, Hedera is an enterprise-grade public network for the decentralized economy. It is a network for individuals and businesses to create powerful dApps. According to Josh, HBAR is one of the coins with great potential after falling from an all-time high of 58 0.5839 to a current price of 0 0.0718. The drawdown represents a drop of over 87%. And that happened to last bear market, guys. This is normal. Last bear market altcoins in 2017, 2018 bull run, they dropped 97%, 98%. That's normal. 87%, totally normal. Leaving the token with much ground to cover and returning to the top. Josh also noted that being a top 30 crypto makes HBAR a safe buy for interested investors. Absolutely. And I just a point on that. It, you know, it, before you do any purchases in the crypto market, do your research. You know, the top 100 coins or top 50 coins, you know, them coins are... Uh, have stability, you know, obviously there's a lot of people uh, investing in them and, uh, you know, they seem like the more safer cryptos to invest in, if I can say it like that. And that's not financial advice, that's just friend-to-friend -friend advice. So, Josh's next call is ADA. We're going to stop there with HBAR because that's where we came to. I love ADA, I totally believe in that one, and Chainlink is a fantastic uh 
fantastic uh, project. So that's a pretty good uh, article there. If you want to go read that, guys, it's on investing.com. I get a lot of my stuff off there and just a very good article to read. You know, you want to see your uh, your coins in, uh, in the news. So let's look at the top crypto bubbles. Here is the top 100 for the day. You can see some green out there. Like I said, ABC or uh, ABC Bitcoin's doing an ABC correction right now. So um, you're gonna have a little bit of a drawdown here. A few of them are popping off. Costs. I, I or I just did a video on that a little while ago. That thing is just uh, pumping like crazy there. So here's uh, the crypto fear and greed index. The market cap's down about a half a percent. Volume is down 10 percent over 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance is down 0.11 percent, and the market sentiment is at a 63 greed. And here's your biggest gainers and biggest losers. And your trending coins are on the left. And uh, let's see, there's Hedera, number six, 1.59 percent. You know, and a lot of these coins were up a lot bigger, you know, until uh, Bitcoin was forming in like a wedge pattern, and it, it fell out of it and. Definitely looks like it's forming an ABC correction, which will pull some of the market down with it until it, uh, until that four-hour RSI resets on it. Yeah, if you get time, check that Bitcoin video out, and I, I put some effort into that, some time looking up stuff. So let's get a look at the H bar here. That's why you're here. Sorry about rambling. Okay, we had that breakout of that wedge. We hit our price target for that wedge, which was up here somewhere, the breakout. Now we've hit the price target that we put up here that we expected to come up and hit. Now we're having a drawback, okay? Let's pull the RSIs up on the bottom. That daily is getting a little overextended, okay? Let's look at the four. The four is on its way down, okay? It's uh, it's almost to the bottom. It's, it's getting to the area where it could just turn right back up. The one is turning up okay so let's zoom in on this a little bit here and uh and see what uh could be going on here okay could this be five waves up absolutely could two if our third wave is our longest looks like it is four not much of a fifth wave but uh that could be the five waves up and we could have a uh five three five going on we could have five waves up a three wave correction and then another five waves up it's hard to tell let me see this 12 hour rsi at the top eight is coming down yeah very very possible uh let's uh let's put in some support zones here first okay just so we know we know that i'm gonna get rid of that price target since we hit that guys it's, you always try to leave them there, so um, you know we uh, we're all on the up and up here. But that was resistance, okay? This is now we busted through that once. We're gonna turn that yellow to a support zone, and we obviously have a support zone right there. We're gonna put a support there, right about right about there, okay? All right, now. This is on a four hour candle. You notice that we did, we had that run up. We have pulled back here and found support. All right. Now, like I said earlier, guys, you've seen these big, these two green candles here, the two four hour candles. Just some friendly advice. Don't, you see a big green candle taken off. Don't feel like you're going to miss the boat. Okay. Always wait for it to pull back and retest. Okay. Um, this was resistance right here. These little, green and red ones that was resistance it blasted through it came back and retested it as support you will always have a retest so just uh friend to friend you know wait for the pullback don't buy the big green candle if you would have bought in way up here you'd already be down right now okay just wait it'll it'll come back don't get caught up in the the fomo like you're gonna miss out just uh have a little bit of patience so let's put this on the one hour see how long we've been in here we're starting to get a little bit of a bounce here what i'm thinking that could you know don't shoot the messenger i'm thinking what we could be doing we could be doing a five three five which would mean an abc here okay which would look something like this all right we would have our a leg come down our b leg up to that 702 Okay, and then if we measure, whoops, sorry, 
let's see, we'll just pull this down and let me give you an exact measurement where that thing would be. Yeah, the sea leg would be pulling us down to that area. Not saying that, <coughs> excuse me, not saying that that is what's happening, but, uh, you, you know, we're due for a correction on the, uh, that four is coming down. The daily is at the top. The eight is coming down and the 12 is coming down so that that could that you know like i said don't shoot the messenger that could be what's going on we could come back and uh right back to this support area and i'm not saying we are but we could come back to 0 0.0686 and uh this thing could end up uh you know coming out here all i know is that uh normally your A and C leg are of equal length on an ABC correction. All right, so let's uh, let's put a little price area here in case this would happen. Okay, we'll lock that there. But with these RSIs um, coming down, you know, I'm kind of expecting some kind of correction here. The one hour could shoot us up to that 702. If we go up to, you know, this would be a big warning sign here. If we go up and hit, that 702 is at uh, 0 0.0754, okay? If we hit that and get rejected back, then it looks like an ABC, okay? That's the 702 is a real familiar area for a B leg, and uh, so keep an eye on that. Let's, we'll put a little mark there and see what happens with that 702, but that one hour RSI could shoot us up there and uh, we'll turn this a different color so we know what it is and we'll make it that like that so we'll see what happens here we could have a short term bounce up to there and then come down to our our C leg down here all right i'm just giving you realistic options here what could happen so that is what it's looking like to me so if you would guys please hit that subscribe button we've had volume coming in that's one good thing. I really didn't notice that at the bottom too much, but uh, we've had some nice, nice buy volume coming in. So who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. You know, I, that that's a very good possibility too. You know, you never know when these markets are going to take off. So I'll keep an eye on it the rest of the day, guys. Please hit the subscribe button, and uh, thank you so much. I love all you guys. Thanks for all the support and kind words, and and I hope you have a very fantastic day.